Oh. My. God. I hate that BNB kid. Seriously. Who is BNB2407? This is BNB. You know that dude in the bottom left corner of The Sims who's raging at Black Ops? An everyday short white kid. Yep, that's me. So today I'm doing a live Black Ops cemetery. Get it? You know, Sims commentary. <laughs> Shut up, I tried my best. So who am I? Well, the Sims part of this video can relatively show who I am physically, but I believe that who I am personality-wise is way more important, especially for you guys, since you guys will be seeing my personality, but not me in most of my videos, you know? So in the bottom right hand corner of The Sims, you'll find five traits, which is what I will now touch on, or at least for the beginning of the video is what I'll be touching on. So my first thing is that I am neurotic. Now, am I neurotic in real life? I guess I'm not really neurotic, but I only freak out, you know, in some situations when things don't go my way. If you guys don't know what neurotic means, there you go. But this does show that I rely on other people quite a lot. I know that I don't do everything right. I know that I don't do everything you know, superbly, and I know that I'm not good at everything. So, I use my peers as resources in many aspects of my life. For example, I thought I was neurotic because the descriptions in The Sims says that you just freak out over little things, but then my sisters who helped me out with all the fancy words that I use in my commentaries told me otherwise. So, without relying on them, I would be giving a lot of incorrect details about myself, and you know, I don't want to be doing that in my commentary because I want to try and show my personality to you guys. The second thing is that I'm a couch potato. Now, I'm not super lazy, at least I used to not be super lazy, but if I'm comfortable just sitting in a nice chair, and or I'm just using some sort of electronics, whether it's the computer, PS3, Xbox, television, uh, good luck moving me. I'm not going to move if I don't need to. Well, with the, I guess with the exception of movies, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of movies because I do not have an attention span. There's an additional fact for you. Uh, and don't forget that the second word in the expression couch potato is potato. I know it's kind of weird and kind of random, but I love potatoes, and I don't really like eating potatoes because raw potatoes are nasty. Fries are good, but raw potatoes, eh, no way. But my favorite thing to do when I'm bored is use my potato gun. You know, sometimes I shoot the neighbors with the little potatoes. It's not a full potato gun. It's not like it shoots a full potato, but it shoots tiny little chunks. So I use my potato gun, hide in the forest by my house, and shoot some dirt bikers. <laughs> no, that is not cruel. It is funny because they don't notice. They don't know who's shooting them. I don't get in trouble. Well, with the exception of one time when I I hit one of the guys in the eye, but I ran so fast I don't even know what happened next because I saw that he pulled out a gun. He didn't see me, but just a tip, guys, a real gun beats a potato gun every time, so run. Haul ass. The next thing is that I'm a perfectionist. Now, I figure that that can kind of equate to being CDO. If you don't know what CDO is, it is OCD with the letters in alphabetical order like they should be. <laughs> now, I could bore you guys with a myriad of examples and stories of my OCD, but instead I will just be sharing one with you guys because I don't need to go on and on with this just one thing. So my weirdest thing is that when I see a plane out the window, you know, I'm just chilling like a villain in a chair, I see the plane, it has to go through a corner of the window, or I will unleash my neuroticness on you. You see, there's an example. I am slightly neurotic. So, I was nine, I believe, maybe eight, and I was at a friend's house. Back then, I was obsessed with a show called Naruto, and if you don't know what Naruto is, it was a show, or an anime, about ninjas. So I was on his bunk bed, and I saw a plane out the window, so with the mixture of my OCD and my wannabe ninja-ness that I had, since, you know, I was so epic, I have a great imagination, which is another additional fact, haha, <laughs> I ended up falling off the bed and dislocating my shoulder, and to this day, which is six or seven years later, I can still pop my arm out of my socket, which is charming, right? I know, it's actually really fun to creep out my friends, because if I move my arm around in a circle, and I'm doing it right now, I, c I know you can't see, but my arm, like, can't make a full circle, it, like, flicks, like, over half of it, so it's it's kind of fun to do. The next thing is that I am very charismatic. Now, in real life, I am not the most social person until I get to know someone. If I have never spoken to someone, let's say it's at the beginning of the school year and I need to meet some people in the class, I'm not going to go up to someone I've never spoken to before and just go off on a life story. But, once I become friends with people, it is not like me to shut up. I will keep talking until they, like, threaten to beat me down. Because, you know, I'm short, I will be beaten down if someone wants to beat me down. <laughs> but nevertheless, I am making commentaries to a bunch of strangers. So, in a way, you know, I'm talking to people that I don't usually talk to. So, I definitely fit the bill with charismatic, and now that I think about it, it is probably the most important and defying thing for me, because if I, did, if I wasn't charismatic, you know, I would not be posting commentaries on here today. I might be posting, like, some crappy videos without commentary, but, you know, that really just won't fly on YouTube. So, I think it's very important that I am charismatic. 
And my fifth and final major characteristic is that I'm kleptomatic. Now, I want to do that in The Sims for many reasons, but, you know, it's kind of a mixture of kleptomaniac and evil in a way, because this kind of just explains my random thoughts. You know, I think kleptomaniac was the best way to describe it, because my mind works like no other. You know, in other words, I'm hot and then cold, as Katy Perry would say. You know, some days I just want to feel like a bad boy. And that is why I've been playing The Sims quite a lot, because it helps me express, you know, those, those bad thoughts in my head, like, killing people and stealing stuff without getting in any trouble. Katy Perry, though, second best. Selena Gomez is better. As you will see my sim here, oh yeah, Selena Gomez for the win. And with those out of the way, now just a few more basic facts about me. So I'm a 15-year-old boy who lives in suburban Minnesota. Lots of people think of Minnesota, especially northern Minnesota, as the Canada of the United States, but no. We do not rustle bears here, we do not drink maple syrup, and we do not have talking penguins, okay? So my real name is Brady, and no, that does not mean I automatically have insane quarterback skills like Tom Brady. As a matter of fact, I am not a very good football player. You know, I love a lot of sports, and I love football. I just can't throw a football, alright? Although I try and stay active, you know, I, I try and play baseball, I try and play tennis especially, and even though I am a total video game addict, you know, I, I want to make sure that I can still play some sports and maintain my rather skinny, skinny person, because I don't want to blend in with the United States, alright? It's not the best thing to be blending in with, and <laughs> The last thing is that I am very professional and mature. If you guys saw my stage one entry, I emphasized how important maturity was to me, and I try and take my own advice with everything that I said in that video. Also, I try and show my professionalism to people. Between my deep voice that doesn't really fit me at all and my large vocabulary, I hope I do a pretty good job about that, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully the Black Ops gameplay was large enough, otherwise I will be totally neurotic on all y'all, but it is a 108 kill to 3 death on Havana courtesy of MLC Stealth. Anyway, judges, subscribers, MCC viewers, and fellow participants, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that I can see you all again in Stage 3. Oh, and did I mention that I'm freakishly short? When I say I'm short, I mean I'm short. Alright. Okay, thanks, bye.